Hello, I'm finally doing the depotting video. Um, I have done a test run already on Aquadisiac. And yeah, you can tell it's a test run because it got a little messy up there. Um, the thing is, this is going to be the oven method of depotting your eyeshadows, which means like it was my first time doing it, so I was a little shaky with it, so I did a trial run. Um, you have to begin by setting your oven to 100 degrees. Um, for heat up, obviously. Um, I put tin foil on a baking tray, whatever it's called. Um, and then you put all your eyeshadows. They don't have to be MAC ones. Any, one, any kind of eyeshadows that come like this and that you want to put into a palette. Like something like this. This is specifically for MAC eyeshadows. Um, I don't... Um, everyone except for the aquadisiac um as a singular one already and they come like this like with the magnet on the back already and the name of the eyeshadow on the back whereas when you do it this way you're going to have to buy your own um if you're using a mac palette anyways you're going to have to use get a magnet for yourself i got this in poles and galway if any of you are from galway which I know many of you are. Um, what I did was just like cut off a square of it and then cut around it to cut around it like that, to take a circle. Now it's not as thin as the MAC ones that are already on it. Oh no, more of my eyeshadow gone. Um, yeah, it's a kind of a thicker magnet, but it still stays in. I mean, it just looks a little bit higher than the rest of them slightly, but it sticks because it's a magnet. Oh my god, if any more eyeshadow falls out of that aquadisiac, I'm gonna cry. It's so sad. But anyways, when you do this, the eyeshadows like this are still able for back to Mac, if you know about that. That's when you can have three, or five, you have to have five empty kind of containers, like it could be lipsticks, studio fixes, um, foundation bottles, I think. And you bring five of them back that are empty and you can get a free lipstick. So that's really cool. So these are all still able for back to Mac because you haven't broken them, which some methods do you break the you break that part there or something and I don't know don't see the point in that when you can do it this way anyways I will proceed by putting these in you can put them in for I think I put the first eyeshadow in for like five minutes and it still wasn't melting but I think it just depends on the glue has to melt underneath where the, they're stuck down to take them out but um, I think my oven's just different, so just, just keep an eye on them and take them out every few minutes to see if they're loosening up. And I'm just taking them out with the scissors as well, so. Okay, so it's been roughly like eight minutes now since I put them in. Um, I think they're starting to melt now. I'm just, I'm using like a nail scissors and I'm just gonna push it down the side of the, where the silver yoke is, where the eyeshadow is in. And if that breaks this one, I'm going to cry. But it's, yeah, they're not melted yet. <laughs> and I'm not even risking breaking another eyeshadow because I believe I am emotionally scarred since Aquadisiac was broken. It's now been about 12 minutes. Yeah, you can see that the glue is all melted underneath. So just there, the glue's all melted. Oh, be careful, it's quite hot. So that's shroom, yeah. Shroom is done. Now, I don't know if the rest of them will be done as well, but I'm just gonna leave the ones that are finished over here to cool off upside down so it won't stick to my counter. Um, yeah, I'll check if the rest of them are done and come back. I reckon they've been in for about 20 minutes now. Um, I even turned up the heat on the oven to like 135 degrees because it just it was paining me to watch this. It was taking so long. And now some of them are starting to kind of pop up a bit more. They were getting really, they get all cracked. I think like the moral of the story is the longer you leave them in the better because it's more likely the glue will be melted then and you don't have to be like pulling at them. They're really hot now though. Um, they're hard enough, they're, they're very, like I was like burning my hand trying to take one out there. I have most of them done now, I have four left in the oven now. Um, I think it, it was so slow because I tried to do so many at once. Um, 
and obviously like the heat to get around to all of them to melt all the glue would take longer just be careful when you're taking them out because they're really hot and I've kind of burnt my thumb a bit but um, you live and you learn uh, also when I left them down the counter I left them with the eyeshadow facing down because the glue was still quite sticky you don't want to ruin your counter because you may get into trouble um, that's kind of it. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do then is, when I put the, whatever the magnets on the back, we have one done here. I just have the magnet like that, and I'm gonna peel off the sticker, and put the sticky part down where the glue was, and then stick it in like that. Um. And then what I'm going to do is get stickers and like name them all along that way. And if you ever change them, you can just put another sticker over it really. Because it wouldn't, it would be hard to be able to stick the name fully on that back. It would just be awkward. Um, yes, yeah, so just get some sticky tape thing and put it on the, up here. It'll say which all your eyeshadows are so you know the names of them. If you're that bothered about knowing the names of them, but I'd kind of like to know them. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching this slightly horrendous tutorial, but at least you kind of have an idea now, like you'd learn from my mistakes, because it definitely takes a while to, for the glue to melt, and it's kind of a long process, but it's worth it in the end, because it's so much easier, especially if you're travelling, just have them all in one thing, rather than bringing all these small little pots, because the pots take up too much room. And yeah, so you can get like this size of one, which is for them, or this one. I think this is 15 euro for just the palette itself. And then the eyeshadows are like 11 euro, I think, singularly, just like this. Um, but these are 15, I think. I'm very bad at prices, but yeah. So I reckon this one would be like 12 or something or 10. Uh, but they are worth it, I think, if you want to reduce the amount of space you're taking up with all these bad boys. Anyways, thank you very much and goodbye.